what's up gurus we are back for another video we are going to show you today how to plant dwarf hair grass in this case we are going to use tissue culture i'm going with the i don't even know how to pronounce that maybe it's acicularis go ahead and murder me in the comments on that if i did that wrong anyways that is one of the types this one grows a little bit longer um than the other type which is i believe parvula Eh, focus focus yep parvula is the other type so anyways i buy these from peco just because my local peco does a really good job at stocking and as you can tell that is an absolutely full cup so we get tons and tons of hair grass now first off i got to take this over the sink rinse it out and then i'm going to separate it up and lay it out on some paper towel here just to give you guys a good visual of how much is really inside of this and we are going to go ahead and we are going to throw a ton of it back here in the corner just to kind of fill up this area back here the last batch that i bought of this did not do so well it was really brown in the cup so make sure you watch my tissue culture video to kind of explain how you take your best bets with these on buying them full and green try not to buy the ones that are yucky because they don't always turn out the best sometimes so save yourself the heartache save your time and just wait till you find some fancy ones that are nice and full like this but anyways let's get over to the sink let's wash these up and get started on planting and how to plant dwarf hair grass it's a lot easier than it seems a lot of people seem to have trouble with it but i'm going to show you a trick we'll see you there all right so this is the best way i've found to do the hair grass if you do it running under the sink you tend to rinse a lot of it down the drain it does come out just like lawn grass so it is pretty clumped up it doesn't really come apart super easy but as you can see you get a little like bart simpson head amount <laughs> but yeah i dip it in here shake it around a little bit that helps loosen up the the tissue culture kind of give it a little squeeze now this is going to be really hard to get all of that out of but what we want to do is we kind of want to split this up into a you know separate little clumps so what i do is i try and rip it open and if i can get it open like this it does help remove a lot of the tissue culture glue or gel i should say you can kind of see it oh, there you go right in there helps make that come out a little bit easier and you're going to get a lot of little floating clumps when you do this if you're doing it this way just because like i said when you buy a big clump like this you know you got a lot of hair grass in here so now the trick to this is to go with clumps i go around the size of my thumbnail that seems to be my perfect growth so i shoot for that size if if possible obviously a little bit bigger a little bit smaller doesn't really hurt but we just want to make sure that we got it divvied up into nice little clumps obviously with this much it doesn't really matter that you know we're ripping a couple pieces in half and stuff like that so you will make a mess of your tank there's going to be hair grass floating everywhere by the time i'm done but that's okay the whole point is the end result the beginning result isn't always the prettiest but it will grow to it so just be patient hair grass takes time it can stress you out really really easily so just be patient with it it's really easy to work with but like i said it's gonna make a mess <laughs> so be prepared for that as with planting anything in life whether it be a garden outside or a planted aquarium patience is key if you don't have patience planted tanks not gonna work for you and there we go we are all rinsed out I'll see you guys at the table. I'm going to go get these situated real quick, get them separated into individual clumps, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we got our dwarf hair grass portioned out. Now, this is, like I said, these are all about thumbnail size. That is what I prefer to do. Um, you can see we got a whole lot versus what you would get normally. Definitely worth the money to go with tissue culture, in my opinion. So, But yeah, if you guys want to watch a video on that, I'll put a link up here on tissue culture, on the truth of tissue culture. Anyways, let's move back on to how to plant this hair grass. So, like I said, a lot of people seem to have trouble planting it. The trick to this is to have a tongs that is angled like this. And I'll show you why in just a second here. But anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to grab it lengthwise, just like this. 
So then when you put it in the substrate, it won't grab back onto the tongues. And I'll show you how this works. I'll be right back with you over at the tank. Let's go. All right, so let's get some of this hair grass planted. Like I said, I'm gonna grab it with the tongs in a long fashion, kind of like this. And then what you wanna do is you stick that down in the substrate, give it a wiggle, and then pull straight up. And the hair grass will stay inside the tank. Now for my case, I gotta do that about 20 times. So bear with me. Let's go into a time lapse. All right, so now you can see that all that hair grass is planted. This tank is very full in it already, especially up front here. So back here, where we put all that new hair grass is gonna start to grow in real, real well. Nice and tight back there, so make sure you guys watch the last video to check out these Anubias that are still in here right now. Um, another video we got coming up, I do have to chop this up a little bit. There's a lot of um, new stuff growing on old leaves and stuff like that so I'm gonna have to pull that all apart real quick and give it a quick once over and make it all shiny again so Pennywise is doing great in here but yeah dwarf hair grass is awesome stuff it grows relatively easy this is a low-tech tank by the way this is just a nine gallon fluval flex with a really simple LED light nothing too fancy and it works great for growing easy plants like this so Make sure you guys keep up with the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe down below. And don't forget to get that bell on so you can keep up with all the new videos on everything we're doing, including this awesome little tank right here. We also got some new stuff going on in here, so make sure you guys are keeping up. Next up, we got a video on this right here. We got to do a change on it, so I'm going to show you how that's done. We'll see you in the next one. And hope you guys like the hair grass video. And I hope you guys learned how to plant hair grass today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.